Now we're going to go on to just the base of the session, which is stress and look into the brain um, and what stress does to the brain. So does anyone know what stress is just to start or do they have their own version of it? It could be something that bothers you. So it could be either yourself that you don't realise yeah. or it could be other people that you don't realise okay. that are bothering you. So it's stuff that you can't really, or you don't think that you can resolve. Something that's out of our control. But it's not, but it is. But that's what we think it is, Yeah, but it's not. I like that. You so we create it for ourselves almost. Yeah. My name is Denny. I work as the mental health youth worker here at Rugby Portobello Trust and I support on Thursdays uh, predominantly with the Man Cave group. I work across five youth clubs in the borough of Kensington and Chelsea, doing similar projects, offering wellbeing um, workshops and um, just getting the conversation going about mental health and trying to break down that stigma really. Here I've got a sort of definition of what causes stress. So stress is caused by fears or events in the future that have not happened yet or circumstances or things out of our control. What stress is out of your control? Mm -hmm. What, what, like, what, what's an example? Because I can't... Who's your job? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Family family. yeah, yeah. I, I enjoy coming here. I think it's, um, I think it's very important to have a space which is filled with other men, but not in a toxic um, environment, because you'll find there's some places which, um, it, there's not this open openness which you find at Man Cave, which is really good. Um, I don't think I've been in a community where I could be so open with other males, if other than probably family members. Okay, so I'm just gonna quick fire, just shout out what if you have any of your signs and symptoms when you notice yourself becoming stressed. So this might be like something you notice in your body, uh, your breathing. For example, like I'll start like I procrastinate if I'm stressed. If I've got too much to do, I won't do anything. John, start with you. Um, I feel like when I'm like really stressed about something, usually I'll either like feel my heartbeat going faster or whatever, or I'll feel like I've got like a stomach ache, something like that. I feel like those are the main two things that I'll feel like if I'm really stressed about something. Well, even though at first I came for basketball, I feel like in terms of the discussions we have afterwards and things like that, it's really helpful because some of the topics are things that might not come up in like day-to-day -day conversation, but it's conversations that need to be had. In terms of masculinity and things like that, people sometimes fall into the trap of feeling like they can't like show like vulnerable emotions or vulnerability in any sort of way and things like that. And that makes a lot of people, they've got issues they're dealing with alone. Being a man, you, you think that you have to keep stuff in, like you can't um, express it to other people or your friends because you feel like less of yourself, but it's not you. Yeah. So of suicides in the UK, in 2019 there were 6,500 suicides. For both women and men. For both women and men. Yeah. Three quarters of them were men. So that's 4,800 out of 6,500 were men. But saying that as well, women are twice as likely, three times as likely to experience mental health problems. But more men are dying than women. So what do you think that says? With the mental health thing, I don't think it's a lack of statistics that are false. I just think men don't talk about it. Therefore, it don't pop up on record. It's the ability to express themselves and be themselves. You don't really know what you're going off, you don't know how to be yourself. So expressing yourself is a big concern with everyone, because they're scared. Um, the biggest issue is like, um, with the younger men generation, they want to be something they're not. They always try like put on like an act. Like, uh, that's even like me, probably him, most, most young generation people went through it. But then it's just about how you grow and who you're growing around. So Man Cave helps you grow in as well. What was the age that the brain stops developing? Who remembers? 25. 25. So it's, it goes to show there's a lot of neuroplasticity. You've got a lot of years left. It's a good word. You've got years left to really like develop into sort of like find your passion and really like develop your brain. So it's open access here at RPT. So anyone um, can come, any young person can come to the club. Um, on a Thursday, we just need to sign up. Feel free coming down.